Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, 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 and thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, thanks for hanging out on this, uh, this is Sunday night, this 14th day of January 2018, and I haven't been in front of this phone, I haven't been in the studio doing a show in a long time. And anyone who has ever seen the show before knows that this is uh, uh, my creative outlet. For some, it's going for hikes. For my sister, it's running, biking, they're swimming. Whatever your creative outlet is, there are... There are times when you don't feel like being creative, where you don't feel like doing your favorite thing, your favorite hobby. Uh, and that was the case for me this week. Uh, I did not feel like uh, doing Matt TV. And uh, I'm going to try real hard to keep it together for this show. I'm not going to be in here very long. I thought I would be... Uh, <clears throat> I thought I'd be ready to come in here and do this, but clearly, clearly I am not. And I didn't bring any Kleenex in with me. Uh, but I've been getting lots of, uh, the last post I put up, uh, I stated that I lost a friend to suicide, uh, which... Just think of uh, whatever... Whatever crappy day you're having, <laughs> there are millions of people who are having worse days than you. Uh, but I just want to come in here real quick, and I want to tell you why. I want to tell you why I haven't been doing this show. Uh, just because I'm not feeling it. You know me, I have, uh, <clears throat> I'm always connected with people's energy. That's why I do the show. Uh, that's, why I, that's why I love doing Matt TV, because it gives me the opportunity to... Uh, connect with people from all over the country. Doesn't matter where you are. Facebook is a beautiful thing. It can be used in beautiful ways. Uh, and to me, Matt TV is my beautiful way of uh, of connecting with friends and family back east. So I just wasn't feeling it this week, and uh, it all started last Saturday. It all started last Saturday. Saturday morning, uh, I get up. I'm in the kitchen. Uh, and I, I, a lot of people are, and I appreciate, I, I don't know if sorry for your loss is like the the go-to phrase. I appreciate all the love, uh, but I'm not the one that you should feel sorry for. There are uh, so many other people affected by what's happened uh, just today alone. Uh, so don't worry about me. I'm fine. I'm just going through. It's been a roller coaster of a week. It really has. And I'm trying to stay in the moment. Uh, I have shed a lot of tears this week. Uh, I've shed tears over things that are out of my control. Uh, and going back to uh, last Saturday morning. Uh, last Saturday morning, reading the news that Jill Fox was sharing with the world. Just... I started to read it, and I had to turn it off. I had to shut down Facebook. I didn't want to continue to read what she was so brave in letting everyone else know. So for that, uh, Jill Fox, you are one of my heroes. So that's how my... So that's how my Saturday started last week. And... Uh, People who have watched the show know that uh, that I was getting ready to do the polar bear swim. Well, I had a lot of, I just seemed to go into the water, even though it was 20 to 5 on New Year's Day, because I did it with Dave Keenan, and anyone who knows Dave Keenan knows that things run, <laughs> they run a little behind when you're hanging out with Dave Keenan. So, uh, but I really wanted to, to do this polar bear swim with Dave Keenan. So I was on his schedule on January 1st, which meant, not getting into uh, English Bay until the sun had already set. It was like 20 to 5. The video was up. You can check it out if you so choose. Uh, but the polar bear swim has always been very uh, symbolic for me. Uh, a ritual where 
I take everything from 2017, everything that I've learned, all the knowledge that I've gained in 2017, I'm grateful for it. I hope I've learned from it. But I take 2017 out into the water and I leave it there. I dunk myself in freezing cold water and I come out with a clean slate for 2018. And I'm so, I'm so thankful this time around that I did that because what has landed on my lap in 2018, in the last 14 days, is uh, I can honestly say that this, the beginning of 2018, is by far one of the most emotional years that I've ever experienced. The beginning of this year, like I said, uh, and you have to understand, I am I'm more connected with with people's energy than I was when I lived back in New Brunswick. And it's because of the love of my life that is in the house, Jennifer Vespasiani, who is celebrating a birthday today. So much stuff has happened on her birthday. Uh, polar bear swim. New Year's Day is fine. New Year's Day is fine. Wednesday rolled around and I learned a tremendous, valuable lesson. Even at 45, even at 45, I learned a lesson that uh, young people and many of us may experience every single day. When you go into something with an expectation, you are and will always set yourself up for disappointment. You have to go into something with no expectations. Because what happened to me I went into a job fair at one of the big venues in Vancouver thinking that the position that I was going for was, it's so suited for me. I have spent my entire life since I joined the workforce when I was 16, 45, on the 25th of this month, my entire life I have worked alongside the public. I have tried to help the public. I took a crash course to be a medic to go up to northern British Columbia to look after people working on a drilling rig. That's how much I love people. I do MC work. I'm a voice actor. I started this. I started this because I love people. And sometimes, uh, sometimes the universe just throws you curveballs. So I went into this hiring fair, knowing what's on this resume. I can back up everything that I've written on this resume. If I didn't, if I couldn't, I wouldn't put it down here. But what really bothers me is when the interview you have, if that individual could have hired me right there, he would have. But somehow, the chemistry that we had did not transfer over into the individual who was actually doing the hiring. I don't even think this individual had any clue on the type of person that I am. I was expecting to get in there. Less than eight hours later, I received an email saying, we're going to pass on you. Devastated. I thought it was a mistake. I honestly thought, and I can't even kid you about this, I thought it was a mistake. I actually called this place of employment to ask them if this was a mistake. Valuable lesson. I don't think I've ever been... That was disappointing. Not the most disappointing thing, but disappointing. So everything is a lesson. Everything is a lesson. And now we get to today. And now we get to today, which will be a day that I will never forget. <laughs> uh, I woke up this morning to a text uh, informing me that one of my friends may have taken his life. I had just seen this individual Two and a half months ago, out of the blue, 
out of the blue. It's, it's still sinking in. It, it's still sinking in. It's just not something that you expect to get in a text and then to follow up with phone calls and, and talk to girlfriends and, and sisters. And it's just, there's just so much going on out here. A few days ago, we got a phone call from my father-in-law's wife. Jen's dad, my father-in-law, is losing his battle with cancer. So we are waiting for the passing of my father-in-law. You met him here on my show, Coach Bess. <laughs> so there's all kinds of things. So when you see someone someday and they're not smiling or maybe they just don't want to have anything to do with you, there's, there's a lot of reasons why people are the way they are. And then to end the day, <laughs> to end the day and to end this week, I got a phone call today from my boss, who I've been with for the last five years. Uh, he was to inform me or has informed me that uh, I no longer have a job. So I get this news at noon on a Sunday that I no longer have a job. And I asked him the reasons why. And he said two things. My demeanor with other co-workers and the fact that I was out looking for another job. Neither one of those are accurate. My demeanor uh, can sometimes be one of frustration. Because after five years, I said, no more. No more cleaning up after other adult male co-workers. Not going to happen. Uh, and as far as other work... I had to explain to my boss that I wasn't looking for other work. I was looking for additional work. I was actually looking for my fourth job. Because anyone who knows anything about the province of British Columbia, Vancouver even, I live in one of the most expensive places in the world. So if you want to let me go because I'm a go-getter and I need more money to live here, and you don't like my demeanor because it goes against a lack of common sense. And so be it. That's my week. So. But I do not want, nor do I need anyone's I don't want anyone to feel sorry for me. I'm just facing I'm just facing adversity. I don't have a job. Big deal. Big deal. I know the skill set that I have. I will get another job. But there are people out there dealing with uh, diseases, death. Their future is Your future is what you make of it. This has just been... And this, all this, this is... 
I'm dealing with, we are dealing as a family here, dealing with the eventual passing of my wife's dad. No job. Friend just took his life. Another friend who is dealing with an incurable disease. So the fact that I don't have a job to go to tomorrow means nothing. Because I will get up tomorrow and I will start pounding the pavement and try and get another job. I do Matt TV because it's my creative outlet. And I guess when you don't feel creative, you don't get in front of the camera. Just in a weird headspace. This is not... This is not the beginning of 2018 that I envisioned. So, been throwing a few curveballs. But there are people, and I've talked about them tonight, who have been thrown a much, a much more tragic curveball than me. But if I can leave you with some love, I can leave you with some positivity. If you are with the one that you absolutely adore, your soulmate, your best friend, hold them close and tell them on a regular basis how much you love them. We all have, and I even talked about it this morning, we all have a love tank. And that love tank needs to be full in order for us to spread more love. So, just a smile, telling someone you love them, giving them a hug. Just think of the, uh, as a meter on, on the love tank. It just goes up. You give someone a hug and the love tank goes up. It's just like, boom, it's full. That's where you want your love tank to be is up here, full. Uh, but on the weekend, we had the opportunity to go to uh, a float house. I've never even heard of the term float house. Uh, some people might uh, think of it as an isolation chamber, but it was awesome. I was in, uh, I've never, all my years of swimming, all my years of swimming, I was never able to float on my back. But with this here, you, you're in a, a contained isolation chamber, 10 inches of water with 10 bags of Epsom salts. So you're floating. And it is one of the most excellent things I've ever experienced. 90 minutes in 10 inches of water in complete darkness, no sound. So when you close your eyes, even if your eyes are open, you have no idea where you are. For 90 minutes, there were times, I kid you not, there were times when you, when you quiet your mind, I was floating through space. There was another time where I was, you know, on the National Geographic uh, videos where they're in the deep, dark depths of the ocean. And you see a glimpse of stuff that you would never have the chance to see if it wasn't for the invention of a light bulb. That's what it was like for me. Just a loose piece of debris floating along the ocean, the dark ocean floor. Uh, Google Float House. It might be at a spa in your area. Uh, definitely check it out. It, I'm so hooked. It's one of those things where I, I'd like to do it at the end of every workday. 90 minutes. Uh, if you're a member, I think it's $40. I don't want to do a bunch of uh, uh, promos for, for, for Float House, but uh, definitely check it out. Uh, just the, the feeling of no gravity. No gravity is just simply, simply amazing. Uh, 
there have been people who have sent me uh, private messages uh, in regards to loved ones who have uh, who have taken their own lives, uh, and it's just for me, I, I, I can never, I'll never be able to wrap my head around why someone would take their own life. I, I, I get it that they're in a place where they don't, they don't see that they have any options, and that's sad. That's. Uh, like I said, I can't I can't wrap my head around it, and uh, I don't want to come off as being cold about the subject. Uh, trust me, I have done uh, I've shed more tears in, in the last 48 hours than I have in quite some time. Uh, and if you do have a good bout of crying, don't hold it in. It's way more healthier uh, just to let it all go. Just let it go. I'm just trying to read some comments here. Yeah, the. Uh, yeah, the float house, definitely check it out. Uh, but in closing, uh, definitely keep uh, Jill Fox uh, and her kids, her husband, uh, her parents, and her sister, and everyone that is involved, the, the school community, uh, everyone that's involved with Jill Fox, just uh, the next time you see her, give her a hug, but just surround her with uh, a tremendous amount of Carleton County love. That's what we need to do for Jill Fox, and I know we can do it. I know we can do it. Um, keep uh, Dwayne Jones. Rest in peace, my friend. Uh, keep Dwayne uh, and his kids, uh, Tracy, and all those who had the opportunity to hang out with Dwayne at some point in their life. Uh, you will be missed. Uh, and I will be going into the service here uh, later on this week. Uh, so keep, just keep people, uh, keep people close to your heart. Uh, right now, uh, my wife Jen is, and everyone here, we are, we know what's coming. We know, I know my, I know my father-in-law is not long for this world. And life is so short. Uh, my job, not having a job, don't worry about it. Do not, <laughs> don't worry about me. There's so many other things that are way more important than uh, me being employed or unemployed. Uh, I don't know. I don't know when Matt TV is coming back. I really don't. Uh, I, I need to be in the right headspace. Uh, there's just so much going on out here. I really need to figure out. I need to get a job. <laughs> I need to get a job. Uh, just keep, uh, just keep us in your thoughts. Uh, we have some tough days ahead of us here on the West coast with, uh, with just everything that's happening out here. So, uh, just keep us in your thoughts. Say a prayer for us. And uh, I will be back here in front of this camera, hopefully uh, sooner than later, with some good news. Okay, uh, thanks for tuning in. And uh, we'll see you back here. We'll see you back here soon.